Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you something brand new. Welcome, welcome one and all to Unabridged. This is a mod pack available on the AT Launcher, and uh, I am on a multiplayer server with a bunch of the guys from the Primus group. Uh, Brink, Brink the Gamer from Stud Tech, invited me to join. Uh, Schnix, also from Stud Deck, is also a member, and there's a whole bunch of other ones, a uh, ho whole bunch of other guys as well, and, uh, of course, links to all of them in the description below. Basically, this mod pack is kind of a, it, it appears, at least to me, that it's kind of a kitchen sink mod pack, um, has a little bit of everything, and, uh, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So, here we are. Now, I have already gotten a lot done, um, in fact, this, I've actually already recorded episode one. And then I realized that the audio was really, really messed up because I forgot to enable a setting and, you know, first world problems, etc. Um, just back from a very long absence. And, uh, you know, it was kind of one of those things where I'm a little rusty and I forgot to do my normal sound tests and all that good stuff. So here we are. So let me give you kind of a brief rundown of what I have already accomplished. In fact, tell you what, why don't I give you a short little montage that will show you kind of what I've accomplished, and then we'll talk about it. Hope you enjoy. All right, guys, I am back. So we have the house that we've been working on. I also have uh, some tinkers tools and things like that. Uh, this village is the spawn village down here. You can see they've made uh, just today, actually, this really nice wall that goes around. Um, I'm a little bit late to the party compared to the rest of the guys because I uh, was delayed in my return home. Uh, flight cancellations and stuff like that. Nothing I can really do. But what I want to do in this first episode is I'd really like to get some more work done on the house. This is what our house is going to be. This little area that we're standing in right now is going to be a deck that comes out. Um, and I think that might be the first thing that I want to get done here. Hmm. Definitely considering that. Let's see. There we go. There is now a windmill in the center of town that's charging a communal atomic disassembler. I have no idea what any of that means, although I do know, I, I do remember windmills from um, Horizons Daybreaker when I played that. So that was a nice renewable source of power that doesn't require any sort of fuel or anything like that. So that might be a good, uh, a good thing for us to have. But I think we're going to put the deck here. I think I'd really like to do the floor in here in oak. I think that will go very nicely with this spruce. Uh, the Tinker's Tools here I'm already doing quite well with. They're doing just fine. Let's go ahead and just break up the floor a little bit. We'll use our 
handy dandy excavator to get this done quickly. There we go. And it is suddenly rather dark, if I do say so myself. Let's put up some torches. I'll just kind of torch spam the walls in here for a minute. Don't want anything spawning in here and blowing up in the middle of my building projects and stuff. That wouldn't be any fun. Uh, so, right here, there should be a doorway. Okay. And then I should have... Here we go. I was going to say, I thought I had a bunch of oak. And I do. So let's do that, and let's make maybe two stacks of that or so into stairs right away. Because I'm going to need those for the deck right out here. And let's see, how do I want to do this? I'm thinking we'll do maybe stairs like this. Uh, like so? No, I don't know. Let's mix that up. Let's go here. We'll just kind of bring them around like that. There we go. Come on. Okay, got it. So this will be our deck. Which I think will work out really well. I think that'll look good. And then... Ooh, do we want to do... Hmm. I'm trying to decide if I want to do stairs here again? Do we want to do that? How would that look? Or would we be better off? I'm thinking we might be better off with slabs right there. It's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And then we also want all of this to be oak as well. So let me get that kind of filled in here. There we go. Now this mod pack has a ton of different mods. There's, uh, there's a few of them, actually there's quite a few of them in here that I recognize and that I'm familiar with. And there's also a pretty good number of them that I've never really heard of. So it's going to be kind of a, an interesting mix of old and new, if you will. Uh, we're also playing with a texture pack. This is the Unity Texture Pack by Cyanide X. I quite like it, actually. I've considered using it in the past for some of my other modded series. Uh, okay, that's all good. Let's go make those slabs real quick. Um, but I think that'll give us kind of a, a unique look. And I, I really do like the way that this texture pack looks, as I said. So, deck. Let's see. Let's fill these gaps in first, and then we'll do the same over here. Violation of Hanor results in death. I don't know what the... the I, there, I have a feeling I'm missing out on a joke. That's okay. Here we go. And we will soon have a deck. Now, between each of these logs... Um, let's get rid of that. There we go. Between each of these logs, we're going to have some fences. Because otherwise, you know, it's a safety hazard. It's quite a long ways down. And, uh, we don't particularly want to fall to our demise. That wouldn't be... That wouldn't be very fun. There we go. Alright, that looks pretty good. Now, fences. What would we want to use? I'm thinking... I'm thinking... Spruce fences? That's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Uh, or maybe we do have carpenter's blocks in this, so maybe we'll just make a bunch of those and do carpenter's stair. Or carp carpenter's fences? What's the recipe for that? I'm a little rusty. It's been quite a while. I think it's that? Yeah, there we go. Let's just make a bunch of those. And we'll put those right along here. And that is perfect. That's exactly how I want it. Just like that. Straight into the barriers. And then we can come out here and look out over the village, and I think that'll look quite nice. So, good to go there. 
And then we do want a texture on those of some sort. I think we'll just go with the standard spruce texture. That way it's a little bit different from the one we're using for the walls of the house. There we go. Okay, so deck is completed. Now we need to move on to the fun part, which is the roof and the second story. And this is where it's going to get a little tricky. So, I think I'm going to use primarily cobblestone, just regular old cobblestone for the outline. Uh, having not used this texture pack before, I think I can probably get away with that. Uh, but we'll find out. Let's put all of this junk away. There we go. And let's grab enough of these where we can just make four stacks of stairs. And then I'll probably need some slabs. Okay, that should be enough. Now, now comes the tricky part. How do we want to do this? I'm almost tempted to bring this up a little bit more. Hmm. Let's grab a couple stacks of these, just just so I can experiment. Um, this is a house design that I'm kind of making up on the spot as I go. Haven't really planned it out in depth, so it's going to be interesting to see if it works out. Uh, it looks great in my head, I will say that much. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to look uh, once everything's been built, but it looks amazing in my head, I, I, that much I will say. Okay, so we get that maybe up like here. And then this, oh, oh, falling. This would be our roof level, I'm thinking. How's that look? Yeah, that looks all right. That would be kind of the level where our roof would start. And then we would basically just be bringing that around. So if we come up here... Uh, and what we could do, since that would be essentially invisible. Ooh, but it wouldn't. Here it would be a little different. Although it would come up to a point there, so that might be okay. Hmm. I'm trying to think out loud. And I will say, my, my uh, recording skills are a bit rusty. Let me experiment with this roof a little bit, guys. I'm going to see what I can get done, and I will be right back with you. All right, guys, I am back, and I think I've got the roof shape worked out. So we're going to go something that's basically like this, and I think that'll work pretty well. I don't know if I can remember how to replicate it for the other side, but I'm going to try really hard. We will see. So let's see. Uh, if I remember correctly, let's just head over here and take a quick peek. Okay, so it was slab, stairs, okay, so, let's see here. This came out to there, and then we had a stair with a slab on top. Then we had a slab there. Uh, let's just do this. Just to make it a little bit easier to get up and down here. And let's actually take this out just for the moment. Uh, there we go. Or better yet, right there. And then a stair went there. Okay. So over here, upside down stair, slab, slab. And regular stair. Okay. And then it was three stairs. So one, two, three. Right? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. All right. That looks good so far. And then it was a cobblestone block, 
a regular stair and an upside down stair. And we'll swing over here. Oh, let's not fall off the roof. Cobblestone block, regular stair, upside down stair. And then I think that repeated one more time. Block, stair, upside down stair. Oh, come on. Oh, fine. Be that way. Block, stair, upside down stair. And then here we did two blocks, stair, ah, stair. Here, I remember upside down stair, and then it was uh, one and a stair facing out that way, if I recall. Something like that. Let's just take a peek over here, and let's make sure that that roof shape matches up. I'm just going to fall. Why not? Yep, that looks like a winner to me. All right, so we have our basic roof shape in place, which is great. That's the hardest part, is just plotting out the shape of the roof, except for one minor little detail. Uh, I'm actually probably going to need another stack of spruce logs. Let's just grab a couple. So in here, I've got these log pillars. Now, these are not going to go up forever and ever, okay? They're only going to go up, uh, I'll bring them up to about there for now, but these are only temporary. I don't think they're actually going to run through the entire house, but I just want to mark these spots because what I plan to do is I'm actually going to have like a, a watchtower kind of coming out of the middle of the house that's going to go up even higher than the roof, and the roof will intersect with it. So I just need it to be high enough where I can mark those spots in the roof and realize I don't need to continue filling these in. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be kind of off or whatever. But this will give us kind of an idea, and that's going to go up really tall. And then that'll give us a lot of space inside the house. We'll have a second story here. This, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this space, if I'm even really going to use it. Might just use it for, like, storage or something like that. But all in all, the house is definitely coming along. And I think you guys kind of have a general idea of what it's going to start to look like uh, once all is said and done. So there you have it, guys. I am out of time for this episode. If you did enjoy this video... Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I hope you are as excited for this new series as I am. Make sure you also remember to check out all the other Primus members. Links, of course, in the description down below, so check that out. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links to that as well. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.